Hi everyone, I hope that you're doing great. I'm on fire as usual. As you may have heard recently, Flutter 2 has been uh, officially released. It added official support, uh, stable support for web and also uh, beta near stable support for desktop. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run from your Windows, uh, Flutter Windows and Flutter Linux, thanks to WSL. So let's get right into it. Okay, first of all, let me show you how to uh, achieve this. So I have uh, created a GitHub repository with, with all the necessary steps. I will share the link in the description. And as you can see in the readme, uh, here are all the steps that I have followed in order to uh, install Flutter 2 on my Windows machine and also make um, Flutter 2 apps run on the Linux uh, machine, uh, virtual machine, thanks to WSL. So you have all the instructions here. So there are uh, Flutter, you need to install it on your Windows machine and also on the WSL distribution. Uh, once you achieve this, uh, and also, we have one important thing is that you need to install GUI support uh, in WSL because you know uh, WSL is the, is the Windows subsystem for Linux. It's a very fast uh, virtual machine that runs uh, Linux inside your uh, Windows, but it doesn't include native GUI support. You don't have graphical apps. So the first thing, uh, in addition to installing Flutter, Flutter, sorry, you need also to install. Uh, the GUI support uh, in the WSL distribution. So you have the steps here. Uh, the article is quite uh, uh, exhaustive, is quite clear. So you just need to follow the steps. In the end, you have uh, graphical uh, GUI apps or graphical Linux apps that run on your Windows desktop. As you can see here also in my readme here, I've opened the calculator. And once you have done that, uh, you need to uh, so install WSL with GUI, Flutter setup on Windows and WSL, as I said earlier, here are the steps that you can follow also to install uh, Flutter on WSL Linux. It's an Ubuntu uh, distribution that I used. And then add desktop support. And finally, create and develop the app on Windows and Linux. So that's what we're gonna quickly see uh, I'm going to show you uh, here in this video a quick demo of the la last and final step. That's what we want to achieve, is it, uh, which is having a Linux app uh, developed using Flutter uh, running directly from my Windows machine thanks to WSL. So it allows to run and debug Windows and Linux desktop apps uh, made by Flutter on the same uh, machine. So. Let's switch to Visual Studio Code. Okay, here I'm on Visual Studio Code. I've opened the uh, the basic uh, Flutter uh, app that we have when we run, you know, Flutter Create. I've added, as you can see here, Linux, Mac OS, and Windows support, uh, thanks to enabling uh, Windows support, uh, Mac OS, and Linux. You have the instructions in the README, and uh, Let's run this. So on Visual Studio Code, I just need to press uh, F5 uh, to run the project. So it will run uh, the Windows application. So it starts on Flutter. So here it will run as a native uh, Windows uh, desktop app. Okay, after some uh, time, because it's the first uh, build, uh, we have these two beautiful windows that appear. First of all is the application window. As you can see here, so it's quite fast, quite smooth, uh, quite easily resizable. It's a Windows a desktop app. And we also have the classical uh, inspector, the dev tools uh, of Flutter. So that's one thing. So it's Flutter desktop for Windows, running on Windows. Uh, so thanks to uh, Flutter 2, it's nearly reaching the stable uh, status. Now let's see how to run uh, the Linux app. So let me stop this, go back to my terminal. Uh, so open the WSL. So I'm on my folder uh, and I have a Linux distribution as you can see here. So let's run Flutter. Uh, I have the 
uh, command already uh, available. So let's run it and see. So same thing, we'll wait some time. Uh, so we can see it's building the Linux application and we'll meet right after the build completes. Okay, now the build completed. We have, as you can see here, it's a window, but now it's a Linux, it's an Ubuntu or Linux window that we have here. The apps works great. You can resize, so maybe it's a little less reactive than the native Windows uh, window, but uh, yeah, it's not a big deal. And we also have the dev tools that you can open on your browser. So let's just try this out. Let me drag a browser window, and uh, let's see here. Uh, where is the URL? Let's let me try this first. Or maybe this one. Let's try this one. Okay, it's paste. And we have the here. So we can also inspect uh, here uh, the information. So that's cool. And one last thing that I want to show is what if you want to debug uh, the Linux application? Let me explain. Suppose that the app works great on Windows, but when you run it on Linux, maybe there is some crash or there is unexpected behavior. So you want to debug the Linux app, not just run it as we have do, we are doing here, but debug it. So let me show you a way to do this also from Windows, uh, from your Windows, thanks to WSL and the v VS Code. So let's see right now. In order to debug uh, from WSL, uh, we can do something really smart and uh, interesting in VS Code, there is an extension which is called Remote WSL. So I really urge you to install it. Uh, it will allow to open a Visual Studio Code uh, window on the WSL environment. So you will it's, it's, like, like, uh, it's similar to having a real Ubuntu machine, a Linux machine, where you open a WSL, uh, uh, a VS Code window, sorry, on that machine and you debug on it. So it's like remote development on the WSL machine. Once you have installed the extension, uh, you will see a new button that appears here on the bottom left corner of the screen. So let's check that we have opened the project in uh, VS Code, as you can see here. And now let's click on this button and choose to reopen the folder in WSL. So what it does is that it takes this folder, it uh, opens a WSL session and uh, launch this project, this folder, with the context of uh, your WSL distribution. So it's like we are inside Linux, as you can see here, it's uh, inside Ubuntu, and we are developing inside the Ubuntu distribution. So it's a really powerful feature. Uh, really, really smart, and let's uh, let me show you here. So I have opened the main.dart uh, project. I have added a breakpoint here, so it's a breakpoint that allow us to uh, debug uh, to have uh, to get some debugging information. But we are executing in the context of a Linux distribution, so, so that's what interesting. Uh, so let me run with F5. So here, really useful. It's really useful when uh, we have uh, a bug in the Linux app, uh, it may happen. So we can, thanks to WSL, uh, debug directly from our Windows machine. No need to have a virtual, um, a virtual machine or thanks uh, with WSL, it's really uh, easy to do it. So let me uh, wait for the build to finish and we'll see you just after that. As you can see here, I have the uh, application which is running and when I press on the plus button which increments the counter I have the breakpoint which is uh, which is called here and you can see that I have access to the counter value uh, to the this and I mean uh, to the I mean to debugging session it's really easy to do uh, to debug uh, the Linux application uh, using uh, the remote extension of uh, Visual Studio Code. So here you have it. I hope you enjoyed. So what we did here, I showed you my uh, my tutorial 
that allows you to set up Flutter 2 to develop desktop apps and also how to set up your WSL to support graphical apps and then how to use all of this to develop your Windows and Linux applications. So develop, test, run, build, uh, package, you can do everything now from your Windows machine and targeting Windows desktop and Linux desktop. desktop. Here you go. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have learned interesting stuff. And happy coding and see you later. Bye bye.